Ja. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is awesome. my buddy. So any recommendation to a trucker, get a dog. Get a freaking dog. <laughs> what? So like, how long have you been driving for now? Four years. Four years? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, cool. started when I was 23. Okay. Yeah, I had a little little incident when I was younger. I was homeless for a while and then oh, I'm like, okay. well, if I'm sleeping in a van and going to work, why not sleep in a truck and go to work? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it made sense, you know? Sure. So now I've been just trying to take classes and trying to get myself out of the truck, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, as much as I like GTS and the company, but yeah. You know, I want to do more in my life. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. Yeah. I, I respect that. And you're a company driver, right? I am. So I you don't have to deal with all, like the, the BS. Yeah. So. yeah, and the nice thing about that, I was talking to a, an owner operator, or at least to own operator. Yeah. And it was cool, but he was showing me the numbers and he was making about 15, sorry, 5,800 a week. Yeah, and before expenses. Before expenses, exactly. Yeah. And then he showed me his check after expenses and it was like 1,700. Yeah. So. I make around that much, I'm not trying to give everything out, but I make yeah. around that much per week myself. Okay. So it's and you all, have to deal with all I the I don't have to deal with the stress, I don't have to deal with thing. anything, you yeah, know? Yeah, sure. And this company's cool, you know, they don't bother me. That's the one thing about yeah. trucking is you don't yeah. want them in your fucking ear every 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, what's going on, where are you, this and yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Just want them to let you, let me do my job because sure. I know how to do it. Yeah. and just leave me alone sure, <laughs> sure. I would I would say about trucking too is health and fitness right you yeah. know that's a big thing I've got an LLC called freight fit okay you know I do a little promotion oh, but, no uh, way. yeah I don't promote it personally but I'm doing it now so yeah, yeah but freight fit so freight, freight fit is a, a company that is based on health and fitness and nutrition okay and just looking to get drivers connected with one another and motivate each other and start living a healthier lifestyle sure. you know this job can make you or break you it can kill you literally cool I gotta go grab the paper sure right sure right. sure do you know the weight um I'm not sure it's pretty heavy okay sure so the weight is important obviously sorry the yeah. weight is important yeah, yeah obviously. totally especially yeah. with the axles yeah. and yeah. stuff i'll probably scale out depending on how it feels okay you don't want to get pulled so you over. You like get in the truck, start moving. You you'll feel, feel it. it. You'll yeah. feel it in your ass, dude. You'll feel it. No, no. Like you would feel the the. Uh, you would feel the tandems. You would feel the load. And like my buddy, he used to say, keep the seat all the way down. That okay. way you can feel the drives. You can feel everything. Okay. You know when the uh, when the winter comes, you can feel yourself skidding out of control, yeah. and you have to redirect yourself. So that's why you keep your seat all the way down, so you can feel everything. It's Sure. It's weird. You know, I've been almost jackknifed. You okay. know, that was in Wyoming, and I was driving, and it was windy, because, you know, Wyoming doesn't have trees. That yeah, 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 And it's straight on I-80. It's just, the I-80 is the worst. It's the worst, bro, especially yeah. in the winter. You're just. Yeah. I remember the horror stories, like, just being a freight broker, nothing, just moving through I-80 the whole week. All the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, New Mexico, Nebraska. Yeah. You know, I-40 is a dangerous one. Even uh, Amarillo. Yeah. When you're going through Amarillo, there's a lot of ice yeah. and a lot of, you know, dangerous experiences. Car. Yeah, if you don't mind, I need <laughs> to start working out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do 10 push-ups before you get in the truck, by the way. What's like the craziest thing you've ever experienced on the road before? Oh, I, can't, I don't even know, bro. I've seen cars on fire. I've seen cars on barriers fucking doing a 50-50. You know, yeah. if you don't know what skateboarding is, it's a term where you're like this and both your trucks are on it and grinding on a fucking, on a barrier. I've seen uh, loads dumped out in the middle of the road. And it's just, it's crazy.
So we just left Menor, Ohio. That's how they pronounce it here, Menor. On our way to Chicago. It's the point of view of being a truck driver. Um, so it's 9.17 in the morning. What time do you think we'll, six hours? It says we'll be there around 2.11. So let's give we'll it a break. We'll get yeah, we'll get around three or four. Okay. It's not that far. No, it's not. Looking forward to showing you what the point of view of being a truck driver is. We just picked up a load in, out of Menor, Ohio, just northeast of Cleveland, and we're en route to Burridge, Burridge, Illinois, which is where GTS Transportation has their uh, their main operation. Uh, Erickson dropped his trailer there. Uh, current ETA is showing 211, but when we uh, factor in the traffic and a couple of stops uh, to eat, we'll probably get there closer closer between three and four. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to showing you the drive. It's not a glamorous job. It's one of these mundane things that you're very complacent. You're just sitting. You're, you feel like in a way that you're wasting your life. I hate to say it, but there's so many things going on right now in your life that you could be doing in order to grow, but you're sitting on your ass doing this. It's a, uh, I feel like, I feel like I'm capable of more in my life, and obviously I want to achieve more. So it, this really doesn't push me mentally. It's, just, it's a chapter in your life. It's a chapter in my life, exactly. This is a means and a way. Yeah. And I could encourage a lot of people to know that this is not a glamorous, great life to live, but it's a means and a way to get ahead. If you save money, if you're smart, you can profit a good amount, and at a short period of time, you can get out of the industry. I don't want to talk shit on the industry either. I'm just, from my point of view, some people love this shit. Some people love trucking. Some people think it's the greatest thing, and for me, it just doesn't push me enough. Sure. You know, if I put in 11 hours into a, and you know, here's here, I'm, I'm making excuses because I need to do it. You know, instead of talking about it, do it, make it happen. And instead of when you're at a shipper and watching TV or doing something like not, if you're not following your passion, sharpening your saw and doing what you need to do to achieve life and go into deeper places and further places in life, then it's almost like you're wasting your time, you know? Yeah, I would recommend every truck driver get a dog. Bro, dogs are the best. Keeps the company. And he touches an amazing voice. I love my fucking dog, bro. Where were we at? Um, Monday. Bro, so I picked up in Georgia. I went to Indiana. From Indiana, I went to Virginia. And then now I'm going to Illinois. Okay. And then from there, I'm going down to Texas. So it's been, a, it's been almost a triangle, you know? It's cool, bro. It's nice to drive and go to these different states and see yeah. the weather. This is perfect. What do you think, Eric, of this whole freight caviar visiting you on a truck? I love it. I think it's great. This is the first time I've ever been in front of a camera. I look forward to seeing the end result of it, and I'm enjoying spending time with you guys. Yeah, likewise. So we're literally we're going to get into Chicago like a what, like around 4 p.m. Right. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably we're gonna get into Chicago around 4 p.m. because it's it's currently noon Eastern time. Uh, we're about to be crossing into Indiana, I think, any second here. I think there's going to be a Walker Center. Uh, let's see here. Uh, but yeah, so we're, yeah, that's going to be the Indian Meadow Service Plaza. We're going to get into Chicago at 6.30. We're going to go to, uh, how do you pronounce it? Mai Tai? Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu. So uh, they're two different arts, but so, they do the same thing in 
Eric, Eric loves to exercise. He's, uh, he's really into maintaining a fit lifestyle on the road, being nutritious. Uh, he's got a company called Fitness Fit. Yeah, and he's, uh, sorry, it's uh, Freight Fit. Freight Fit? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. I like that. Yeah, Freight cool. Caviar and yeah, Freight Fit. Yeah, absolutely. We should have a collaboration. Yeah, together. absolutely. We're doing it now. Yeah, we're doing it yeah, now. We're yeah, we're collaborating. Yeah. So we got Freight Fit right here, and you got Freight Caviar right next door. So uh, we're literally going to get into the city after driving all day from Cleveland into Chicago drop in the trailer in Burridge at the GTS transportation lot, and then we're going to go do some boxing, some Thai boxing, Muay Thai, yeah, Muay Thai. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. It's just showing like the real glimpse of day in the life of daily a Daily life, right, absolutely. Yeah. And then Eric might go to San Antonio, or you might no, I'm, stay go I'm going to San Antonio, but I'm gonna stay the night. I'm gonna okay. stay the night, I'm going back to the gym in the morning, and Very I'll probably cool. leave around 12 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. So there's no rush. It's the weekend, so. Yeah, sure thing. Just gonna take my time, get down to San Antonio, spend some time down there, and hit the road again. Awesome. Yeah, so this is the day in the life of being a truck driver. Uh, very interesting. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Cool. There we go. Push-ups. 20 push-ups? All right. Ready? All right. Uh, I'm going to go right here, right next to you. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, good shit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> out to you to like try to change like trucking companies and stuff like that uh some have but others i mean really some not that many but, okay. but you know i'm happy where i'm at i think they treat me well that's the most important thing right and you see it, most most companies are higher you know a lot yeah. of you can get on a trucking company pretty easily sure it wouldn't take that long you know, as long as you, the insurance will cover you, yeah, it doesn't matter. They'll, they'll get you on. Especially, I mean, I work for a lot of, I've worked for a bunch of smaller companies. Companies that had about 10 trucks. And they're not bad. The only, the only, uh, only problem with that is the maintenance of a truck. Finding out the maintenance of a truck and going to outsource the mechanic. You know, they don't usually have a yard, they don't have their own mechanics, so they'll outsource it to someone else. But the thing about GTS is they have everything. In their yard, they have their own mechanics, they have mechanics for the trailers, and they have basically everything you can imagine for a trucking company all in one. They have their dispatchers, their safety, you know, they have, they, they rely and they rely on themselves, you know, they don't look for outsourced people to fix their trucks or anything like that, so. We're here two minutes, two miles away, three minutes to touchdown. Yeah, how, how was that drive? You tell me, Eric, how, I mean, how you tell me how that drive that was. That was a smooth drive. Yeah, it was. I did fall asleep for a little bit at the end, but that was a really smooth drive. Uh, it took us what, like six, seven hours? About uh, six and a half hours. It's yeah. what, 3.35 Central Time. We left at what, like 9.30 Eastern Time? So that's yep. like like seven hours, I think, actually. Yeah, yeah. Seven hours. But well, we stopped a, for 30 minutes. Yeah, actually. that was a fast, like I felt like a lot faster than seven hours, but when I calculated it up, it, uh, it was. Yeah, it was a, it's a good amount of time, but that's because yeah. of the traffic. Totally. You still have four hours and 40 minutes to your break. So, uh, yeah, it was a good drive. We're out here now in the suburbs, western suburbs of Chicago. Uh, yeah, 
heading on over to GTS. We're, we're about to pull into GTS and then we're we're going to take a few hour break and meet up for some Muay Thai. Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Right. So be fun. Yeah, looking day's not to over yet. So the, yeah, day's not over yet. Uh, it's gonna be a long day ahead of us. Roar. What are some tips you would give to truck drivers or people that want to become a truck driver? I guess that's a better question. All right. Uh, number right one. On South Grand Street. Let's see. Have a reason to do this. You know, have a have a plan to get out of this industry, get in and get out. Save your money, and the most important thing is get a dog. You got to get a dog. <laughs> if you don't, you're going to be lonely as fuck. Yeah. But, and just be safe. Think before you act. Don't make dumb decisions. There's a lot counting and a lot of relying on this job. You fuck up, that's your ass, you know? It's your decision. The company, they'll stand up for you if you didn't do the wrong thing. If you did something that caused an injury or accident and it was your fault, that's your responsibility. Do you want to show them? So this is a wide turn right here. I'm going to take myself all the way to the left and then I'm going to cut to the right. That way, see, the guys will get over for me. That way you can clear on your trailer. So I'm looking at my right side of my trailer and I'm watching where my trailer goes. Typically, a lot of people will get out of the way. And, you know, they're, that's, the, that's just it, it's simple. It's all about angles and dynamic driving. Sure. I mean, you've been really good at that. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to get in any accidents. <laughs> you know, I've had a few, my, not, not accidents, but I've had a few mistakes. Yeah. You just learn from them. I mean, all together, because the trailer is 53 feet, it plus is. this, this is what, like up to like over 60 feet? Yes. Yeah. Do you know how many, how much exactly? It's somewhere around there, but that's uh, it's a fucking long distance. And depending on the, feet, yeah. yeah, yeah. So depending on how much weight is in the back of the trailer, yeah, depends on your stop time. So it also depends on the weather. You can be in a rainy day and have a light load and your truck will hop. Yeah. It will hop and skip, and it will be difficult to stop because of the traction. So you just have to do your homework, see what the weather's at like, and make the most out of your day. And here we go, GTS. Where are we? Where's GTS? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is. Here, here it, it is. is. Come let me in. There we go. We arrived in Chicago like two hours ago, and now we're in the Muay Thai gym.